Good afternoon, everyone. It's Steve Cal 5 JUF. Hope everyone's having a good day there. Uh, continuing series on the Ham, Ham Radio Deluxe software. Uh, continuing to uh, go through uh, rig control here in, in a little bit of a detail here to kind of show you some of the finer uh, things about the software. What we're going to talk about today is what's called band spread. Uh, essentially, um, real quick overview here. When you have a frequency displayed, uh, you will have the uh, slider here right below it and typically by default the slider is there's only one there's actually two different sliders there's what's called a fine one and a fine two so by default it only shows you the fine one so let's talk a little bit about this slider here and what this does exactly there's two important icons over here one of them is called the wheel step and the other one is called the range. Now both of these uh, are independent. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and activate the second uh, slider. And if you look right here, when I click here on the little, uh, look at that, that represents a graph or a line. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the show find number two. So watch what happens. There's going to be an additional frequency slider pop up. See it right there. Now we have find one and find two. So let's go over some details here. There's a couple of things uh, that make these a little bit different. And, and again, clicking on the little H here is what's called the range. So this particular slider bar has a frequency spread of 10 kilohertz. So what that means is at 28395 to 28405, that's 10 kilohertz, essentially. The sitter frequency, of course, if you go all the way to one side, uh, let's see, let me get this back on frequency here. So if you essentially go all the way to this side, you're going to be at 395, and on this side will be 405. So that's for find number one. And again, that setting is right here under the range, wide range. Now let's take a look at number two, find two, which is the slider bar that we just added. If we look here, this one has a range of five kilohertz. And I'm going to actually jump that up to 10. Now what's going to happen is it's going to rescale. All right, now it just rescaled. Now let's go to uh, let's go to a hundred. That way it'll be different from find one. Okay. So now what we have is on find number two, which is the, the slider we just added, the frequency range is twenty eight three fifty to twenty eight four fifty, essentially one hundred kilohertz. The top one maintained its original setting of ten kilohertz. So that's consistent. Now the next thing you need to know about is what's called the wheel step. Now the wheel step applies to both sliders. So watch this. If I click here, this is currently set to 50. Now what this is, is if you rotate the wheel of the mouse forward, this will be the frequency step change that you'll see on the frequency counter. So for example, hover over, and if you notice, a little lightning bolt appears. When the lightning bolt appears, that means that the wheel step feature is now engaged and you can roll the wheel of the mouse forward or backwards and you will see a change of 50 kilohertz, 50 hertz. Same thing on this menu. That's the wheel step. Now on this one here, you have the full frequency band. This one is also independently set. So we can set this one, to, for example, to 500. And when we hover over it, you'll see that it changes 500. So we essentially have, let's make sure these aren't common. Yeah, this one's still at 50. This one's still at 50. And those two, these two wheel, wheel spreads work together. So whatever you do to one, it's going to apply to the other. However, this one has its own 
register so we can change that to a kilo to one kilohertz and if we go back here we can essentially hover over see the lightning bolt and now we can change in kilohertz steps one kilohertz two kilohertz so essentially you have a very fine resolution on fine one a little bit more broader less resolution on fine two and then on the last one you see where you see the full extent of the band this one here you can have this one here you can widen it out a little bit so we're changing and if I wanted to change this for example to 5 kilohertz or 5 yeah and I could change it every 5 so that's how the band spread are initially the fine one and the fine two and of course the third one which is the actual full 10 meter band the second thing I want to show you is what's called band spread. So what the band spread does is it takes the existing band that you're on, for example, this is 10 meter, and it broadens it out. It segments it into clusters, for example, 25, 50, 500, and 1,000. So let me demonstrate. If I click here, it gives me the ability to look at this in 50 kilohertz segments, 100, 250, and 500. Now, of course, the higher this number, the fewer buttons you'll have. So let me demonstrate. If I press 50 kilohertz, notice what happens. We have many, many, many segments here. So what happens now is if I click on 28400, this button down here, this is where it shows to start. If I click here, this will move to 28450, 2600. So what you can do is you can go over here to say 29. 600 and let's check our wheel step our wheel step is going to be a 5000 let's change it to a thousand just for fun on this particular one and we can actually go all the way up if i want to change it to uh, 10,000 just for fun let me set these all back to zero then i can immediately uh go up that's a thousand so let me change it back down that's a little bit more step than i need let's do the five Okay, now I can go all the way over to down to 600, which is FM voice. So again, that's a little bit about it. So now if I want to go to, say, 28400, again, click here, and there's our beginning of the band, and there's the end of it over here. It's 28, can't quite see it, it's, but uh, it's 28, yeah. So again, this is the uh, 28400 segment. 28500 segment, 28600, see how it's incrementing right here. So that's how that works. Now, let's say, for example, I want to go to 100 kilohertz segments. Now this is going to break it down with a fewer buttons because we now have more frequencies within each, and captured within each button. So pretty straightforward there, not, not a big deal. And if we want to go to, say, 500 kilohertz, it'll take us down, you know, just to the basically takes the frequency and divides it by four. And there's your blocks right there. So if I want to get into 28,500, 2,900, and so forth. So this, this is how you navigate the band spreads. And again, uh, you can see uh, each one that's active. You see this one's active here. So essentially, you know, it, it kind of gives you the full range of what this frequency is and so forth. So that's how the band spread works. And we'll go back to 50 here. And if I click here, this will be 450. And again, the uh, this one starts at 28. Uh, yeah, this one will start. Yeah, so this is essentially this little segment right here that we're looking at 450 all the way to 500 so that's this little segment right here so to turn the band spread off again you just turn it off and then you return back to normal operation so that's a little bit about the band spreads and also if you're working on uh, for example 20 meter you have the same options again you can break it up into different variations uh, if you want to get more more uh, groups if you will uh, fewer groups with uh, with more information, wider, uh, you know, uh, frequency spans, that, that's the way you would do it. So I'll go ahead and turn this off again. 
And that's a little bit about how the band spread works and how these little sliders work. Just remember, if you want to hover over, you can just scroll it this way. And of course, remember, this is your wheel step guide here. This one down here is the frequency from here all the way to here. This one's at 10 kilohertz. This one here is 100 kilohertz. And again, that's from here to here is 100 kilohertz spread. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll turn the fine off here and uh, we'll continue to make these. Uh, and I hope you uh, are enjoying these and these are some help to you. So from KI5JUF, uh, y'all have a great day and uh, we appreciate it. And uh, we'll put up some more videos. Have a good day and thanks again for watching.